Welcome back, guys. Welcome back uh, to session two of our interview with Miranda Wrights. Miranda, you're always smiling. Look at the smiling and the cheesing. <laughs> so if you guys hear some uh, noise in the background, uh, like I said, we are at uh, Stewart International Airport. So we have uh, planes coming in and out. So there is one ready, getting ready for takeoff. So if it gets a little loud, it's all good. You can still hear us. And that's what counts, right? That's what counts. All right. All right. So um, to go back into casualties, the track that we just came out of, um, producers, videos, all that kind of stuff. Like, who was involved with making that? So, Rado obviously is super talented because he not only produced the track, um, but he also shot the video. And okay. that was all of his artwork in the background. Nice, so, nice. That was, that was hot. I, yeah, I, I did I like mean, the background. Like I was that just was like, like, okay, so yeah. you do it all then, right? Shout out to Rado. You the man. You the man. <laughs> um, when, you, when you're getting ready to do a video or something like that, because I've never done one. I've, usually my stuff is, has been live. Like, what type of atmosphere are you looking for? Do you want something more quiet? Are you looking for uh, a lot of, a lot of like, uh, energy in the air like what kind of like for this video what was your mindset behind the location and yeah. the type of vibe you wanted to give off honestly it depends on the song because right. every song is so different yeah. so like and i also i think i drive like the people crazy when i shoot videos i'm very dramatic okay so like <laughs> dramatic like diva or dramatic just like, like like no not diva but like i just want things to match like the record you gotcha. know okay so gotcha. I feel you're like picky that's good that's yeah good. so right. like right. everything has to just be insane right. because you can't have a song and yeah. then the video like i mean there's been a few videos that i've seen and i'm like that's kind of weird because like the video yeah. doesn't match exactly like, the vibe of the song yeah. um yeah. so for casualties it was just very like you know just bars aggressive right. so i'm like okay this has like a gritty feel gotcha so with the graffiti backdrop like that's perfect yes you know so i feel like whenever i do like a video it's always just a place that like matches the song if gotcha. i need to do a video in the woods mm -hmm. <laughs> to right, capture right, exactly. the feeling of the exactly. song yeah. and that's what i'll do okay 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 um so for those that actually follow you on your facebook or your instagram um you were like you're an avid surfer skater like no no, no. okay so let's back I'm... i do not surf no. and i do not skate oh. putting it right out there to the I, but i'd be like that's... yo i want to see you at the skate park oh uh, right <laughs> so right I right not... gotcha gotcha no so i do not so ex explain <laughs> okay then listen but for, i get lost just like everybody else so explain <laughs> what is with the beach and all the kind of stuff that you put up okay so i snowboard snowboard um, it's like a mix kind of what i said yeah, it is, but it's a different board sport, yeah, right, though, right, right. so you got to be careful what you throw out there. Because I don't want people to be like, oh, I'm going to see Miranda at the beach next week, like, riding the waves, right, and I'm going right, to be like, right. you won't see me nah, out there, gonna, though. Nah. <laughs> Needs to be snow involved. So it has, has to be, snow. to be, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. So I love to snowboard, okay. um, and I am the ambassador for the Chill Foundation. Nice, 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 nice. The Chill Foundation is Burton Snowboards okay. nonprofit. Um, so basically the whole goal is to help youth overcome their challenges nice. through board sports. They have programs all year round. Okay. So they have the surfing, the paddle boarding, the skateboarding, nice. okay. the snowboarding. That's where I fit in. I do more of like the musical element for chill okay. and then also just spreading awareness about chill to my fans. Nice. So I snowboard, but whenever it comes to doing like other programs, I'll still hang out with like the right, surf right, right, crew, right. the skateboarding crew, because it's just, you know, we have like our core values. So it's more so about that. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now you're good at skate, uh, snowboarding. Yes. I've been snowboarding for a long time. Yeah. Like yeah. good, good. Like yeah, yeah. really, really good. <laughs> Like do like we could do like a snowboard video of you. I did do a snowboarding oh, video. Did you? Yeah. So last winter I did a snowboarding video with the Chill Foundation. Okay. Um, and that was like you know to spread like awareness, but I also did like a whole fundraiser for nice. them because okay. everything is provided to the youth at no cost. Nice, and nice, snowboarding nice. is really expensive. Okay. Like it's an expensive right, right, hobby because right. you have your lift tickets, you need yeah, your right. board, your All the gear. different equipment. Yes. Right. Uh, you're correct. So we did like a fundraiser for the okay. New York City group. Nice, nice, nice. Um, where are they located? Where are they, where are they founded or where's their home so base? So Vermont, because uh, okay. that's like the home of like Burton um, okay. and that's their headquarters, the chill headquarters in Vermont. Okay. But we have programs all across North America. Okay. So I'm the NYC ambassador, nice. but um, 
Yeah, Chill is all across North America. They also have like several like international programs now too. Okay, okay, so, awesome. Yeah. Is there anything in New York? Any part of that in New York? Yeah, so the skateboarding is all in New York. Okay. Um, they're surfing. We were at Rockaway Beach. Uh, the right. only thing that is in New Jersey for the New York program mm -hmm. is the when we snowboard at Mountain Creek because that's okay. like the easiest right. place and right, it's right, right, right. Okay. outside. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so give them the information. How would if somebody wants to get involved, uh, they want to get their kid uh, enrolled or they want to sponsor, they want to get involved somehow. What's the website? So How you can go to www.chill.org uh -huh. and uh, you'll see everything about what it is that we do, okay. um, where, where their programs are, and just all, every all the info. And that's chill, C-H-I-L-L dot org. Yes. Get all the information. They contact anybody they need to contact. There's going to yes. be videos and photos and all that kind of stuff there. Absolutely. Yep. All right. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So. We have an ambassador right here, <laughs> chill.org. Um, this is something that's, I mean, anytime you give kids the opportunity to do something that's not in their in environment, that's not something that's um, readily available to them, it's something great. Uh, I know growing up, uh, being able to do something like the Fresh Air Fund, which was something in the Bronx, um, being able to go to different places and do different things. So the programs like this are really, really impactful for the youth. Absolutely. And that's the whole premise is yeah. that like all of the kids in the program, like they've never been to a mountain before. Exactly. So when you take like exactly. an inner city yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, kid, yeah. right, yeah. from the Bronx, they don't go to these mountains like even just kind of being in the snow it's like an entire right. different like experience and that's exactly why we do it um and that's why i wanted to get involved because mm -hmm. even when people ask me about like my hobbies right, right. you don't really hear most rappers say that they snowboard no, not really not really no. <laughs> so that's why um it was just the perfect tie-in and you know i'm actually like the first female mc to like cross over like in terms of like branding and okay. just the fact that I love to be on the snow. So that's how like it tied in with chill and oh, which is like a awesome. perfect alliance. Well, that's awesome. And how did you first hear about them? How did you first get involved with them? So I was like looking um, for something more. Like I just, I was wondering if there was any like programs that kind of like combine like everything. Right. Um, and I found chill online and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Uh -huh, I nice. need to get involved with this. Uh -huh. And so we reached out, okay. um, had a few conversations and just like the vibe was that perfect. Was it. It was perfect. Like it was right. just like everything just oh, fell into awesome. place awesome. and yeah. All right, that's, that's mm -hmm. great. So go to chill.org, www.chill.org. You get all the information. Um, snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing, paddleboarding, anything yes. else? Perfect, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Impressive. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm a professional. You know, I'm a professional. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, I wanted to ask you uh, a question. Uh, you being a, a very good MC, that should be enough to kind of give you the respect that you deserve. Um, but sometimes uh, being a female might get in the way, and some people might. Uh, look towards the looks more than the actual talent like you're a very beautiful young woman you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and some people might say oh well that's how she gets it but I know I've heard you rap and I, I mean you have you know followers and fans and this and that so how has it been kind of coming up through the industry as being a female rapper like has, has it been easy has it been easy uh, has it been a lot of support has there been some struggle being a female rapper it's definitely hard right. honestly um for a few different reasons so i feel like the first thing is like people always try and like undermine my intelligence right. and that drives me crazy um, and I think though too, it's just because there's such like a stereotype about like yeah. women in hip hop of like yeah, yeah. what we should sound like, how we should dress, yeah. like what our music sounds like. Right. So like one of the things that I get all the time is like when people hear my music, like they don't expect to hear what they're right. hearing, right. you know? And I think that's good or I think that's good and bad mm -hmm. because it's good. And, like I'm happy that I'm like, you know, they're like, oh, we love your content. Um, we love it. Like you know, your lyricism and all of these different things. But the bad part of it though, is that we've gotten so ingrained to hearing right. that women should sound a different way in hip hop. Exactly. It's like, we have to break out of that. Yeah. Um, and then too, you know, like hip hop has always been like a male dominated right. industry. Mm -hmm. So whether it's like at a show and um, meetings, 
like it's like being like a woman like you stand out because gotcha. there's not many of us right. but you know i look at it more so now like instead of like a challenge like mm -hmm. i'm like okay this is just the extra step of why i need to continue doing what i'm doing right. um and being the person that i am because when you start to see it enough then now it changes the conversation so okay. do you feel like you said before that um uh people didn't think you wrote your own rhymes do you yeah. think that has to do with the fact that you go and you see other female rappers talk about sex and their bodies and this and that, and that's not something that you dwell on. You actually write really, really good lyrics. You, write, mm -hmm. you talk about things. You think that has to do with why some people don't think that you write your own stuff? I think, well, I think it's like two things. So one, there's a lot of people that don't write their own things, right. whether it's like men or like yeah. women. Shout out so. to the ghostwriters out there. <laughs> you the real MVPs. You keep it good. You the you real like MVPs. The <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I think it's that. Right. But then also too, yeah, I mean, like, it's funny because I feel like, yeah, people are like, oh, she probably doesn't write her own raps. Right. I've been, I can't tell you how many times, like, I've been, and this was more so in the beginning because now it's like I have people coming to see me at shows. But, like, I would, like, go to, like, these shows and then, like, you know, I'd have my own little group that comes with me. Mm -hmm. And then they would always assume that the guys that I were with, that they, they were, were the around. ones yeah, that the were going to be performing. And I was part of the entourage. Right, right, right. And Psych. I would, like, kind of watch them because they would try and, like, you know, size me out right, and, right, like, right. play me out. Mm. And then I'm like, wait 10 minutes, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're about to flip the right, scripts right, here. Right, 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 um, right. But, yeah, so. All right. So instead of being mad, you almost kind of, you accept it and you kind of go with the flow. I mean, you just, yeah, I mean, you, you sound chill.org. You sound chill.org. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, it just sounds like you just kind of go with it. All right, well, you know, wait till I get off the stage, then we'll talk. Exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, like, because I, like I, like I can't, like, I've always been one of those people, you can't control, like, other people and, like, their mindsets and, like, how they perceive things. You can only control, like, what it is that you put out. Right, right, right. So as long as I, like, you know, am in control of what I'm portraying, then the rest is for somebody else to, you can take exactly. it how you want, exactly, you know? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Intelligent, y'all. <laughs> she got it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. so uh, let's go over your uh, website. Yes. Uh, so www.misswrites.com. It's W-R-I-T-E-S. Sometimes people try and do it the other way. G -H -T, but gotcha. Yeah, so it's W-R-I-T-E-S. Everything is on there. Gotcha. So like we'll my social scroll media. scroll that across the bottom right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, and then too, like I always post like about my shows and everything on gotcha. there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, social media. So Instagram is Miranda underscore, underscore right, right which annoys me it because it i don't understand me too. I don't why i can't have my name as in like one somebody probably has i that. need to, well no that's why it's messed up because there's no reason why i can't have it together so maybe <laughs> i don't i don't, <laughs> I don't know that's who only... i need to contact <laughs> I don't know, cause I know I know somebody. I have a I have like a, a video photography kind of flyer design company called Juggernaut Designs, and somebody recently just hit me on Instagram saying, "Hey, how much you know? How much do you want for me to take the name? I'm opening up a business. I want that name." I was like, "Well, I want it. <laughs> it's mine." So, but that's the only reason yeah. I could think that somebody can't get something on there. I don't know. So, but that's Instagram. Right. Instagram, so we're coming for you. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you have to put an underscore between Miranda and Wright. I apologize. You know who you're talking to, uh, right here? Come on. Man. Facebook is easy. Right. Um, Twitter is easy. You can just type in Miranda Wright. That's like the easy platform. Gotcha. But I'm just putting that out there because there's been times where people want to follow me no, and they're that's, like, that's good. you're that's not good. on Instagram. That's I'm like, I am. You just don't have the underscore. Right, right, right. <laughs> and for those that, for those that don't, aren't, social media savvy everything's off of your website right they can go yes. and direct themselves yeah and okay. also too like google, google is like everybody's best friend yes. because not only can you find out anything you want to know but if you type my name into google then that's like i feel like a super easy way because then everything will pop up that there way too so you can just see my facebook instagram twitter right, right, right. everything you want to follow me on so. okay all right so follow comment like uh share right. yep Everything. Yeah, <laughs> you got <laughs> right. it. <laughs> um, and hit up the website. You get all the information, bio, pictures, photos, yep. videos, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, are you? Do you have a YouTube page? I do. Um, same thing. Type in Miranda Wrights, and I will pop up. Okay. Yep. 
Okay. So All right. No enough. underscore that time. No, no, no. That's the easy. Like I said, yes. Instagram is the only why you, thing. Why are you guys being and, difficult? And you know what? The bad thing is, is Instagram is so popular now yeah, that right. that's what everybody uses. So I'm like on the most popular platform. That's like the hardest way to find my profile. That's weird. That's weird. I know. So I'm We're like, look I'm, into that. Yeah. We're going to start a new investigative program. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, maybe we should fly out. I'm saying and just that'll go to the headquarters that's, we'll right just now. fly there and we'll knock on the door and be like, listen, what's with the underscore? There's no need for that. There's no need for that. Uh, all right. So uh, they they know about your past. They know about your history. They know about you as a person, what you're involved in. Um, they know that you love the genre. You love what you do. It makes mm -hmm. you happy. You're smiling all the time. Anytime <laughs> I've ever, honestly, like any picture, I'm like, she's smiling again. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, you gotta smile. You can be sad one time a year, but no, not with you. Yeah, it's just I mean, smiles all the time. You know, it's not like I'm not perfect. Like, obviously, there's days where I'm not smiling, but like, you just don't post you're... those pictures. <laughs> yeah, those are those, unpostable. Those are the times you don't like post. It's just like you have to, you know, you have to just like be present and like yeah. I feel like your attitude is everything. Yeah. Heck yeah. So it's like Definitely. when you dwell on like negativity and being down and out. Like, do you want to be nuts to somebody that's like miserable? No. no I'm good. You know, so it's like you have to spread like good vibes yeah. and good energy because exactly. it's contagious. You know. Damn right. Listen, good vibes only. <laughs> she can spit. She's super happy super happy <laughs> all right she's got a great support system so you have to again like follow share all that good stuff but become a fan because she's definitely going places and you want to ride with her now so that you're not on the bandwagon when she makes it big time okay <laughs> um miranda thank you so much honestly thank you, thank you so much me. it's super early in the morning so but she's out here with her people and we want to thank everybody for coming out today again we want to thank heather and Abby and everybody that was involved with uh, independent helicopters here at Stewart International Airport. Uh, you can find them on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram, uh, independent helicopters, and they do tours. You can fly out with them, all that good stuff. This is one of the actually one of the helicopters that they use. We're taking uh, a nap, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually about to get out of here with it, so we have to cut this. So thank you all for stopping by again, season two of in the element new faces new places so much new content i hope you guys like it um thank you all oh you know what we didn't go over hmm. mm, look at that you got something coming up in september don't you oh yeah that's oh. right okay. so september 13th yes. i will be performing in harrisburg pennsylvania at the crown plaza hotel so there there's go. gonna be a lot of uh what type, of, going what type on. of event is that? Is it just you performing? That's it? Like No, there's going to be other performers, okay. um, but it's like fashion, like all oh, of this. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So shout outs to um, Michelle G. So she is coordinating and uh, kind of like directing the entire event. Right. But there's going to be a lot of like fun. Like she does all these amazing different events. So mm -hmm. every event that she does is like a party. So come out to the Crown Plaza Hotel okay. September 13th. That's it. Um, you have all her information. Uh, if you want to take a helicopter ride, go to independenthelicopters.com <laughs> and uh, speak to their staff there. And that's really it. So, again, thank you all for coming in. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Take care.